Today, our verse is Jeremiah 3 verse 14. Return, O faithless children, declares the Lord, for I am your master. I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Israel had become unfaithful, but the Lord never gave up on her. He was always looking for a way to bring her back to himself. This verse expresses the desire of God for his people. There are three strong points we can take from this verse. First, is to return faithless children, or put literally, as it is in the Hebrew, children of rebellion. The children of Israel have not only turned away from God, but have become rebels. Their rebellion is rooted in following their own dictates, following other gods, and not listening to the God who led them to where they were, who brought them from Egypt to the promised land. The second point is, I am your master. God reminds them that he is their master. Ba'a means to marry or rule over. So God is saying to them, I rule over you. I am the one who has married you. The use of this word Ba'a is important because this is the name given to the gods of the other nations. That God is saying, the gods of the other nations do not rule over you. I am the one who rules over you. Finally, God's plan is to bring the people to Zion. Zion is the city of David. 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 1. It was originally the name of the citadel of Jerusalem, where the temple was later built. Hence, it is referred to as the city of God. God dwells on Mount Zion, and God wants to bring the people back to his dwelling place, where they can worship him. Have we not turned away from God in different ways? When we turn away from God and deliberately do things contrary to his will, we are putting up acts of rebellion. It is worse when we substitute other things in place of God. In other words, we are making them idols. Our idols could be money or something we value so much that it replaces God. Think today. What is it that takes the place of God in your life? It could be a person. It could be a thing or an idea. If that is what rules your life, then it has become your bar. It has become your master. The desire of God is that we come to his dwelling place and always stay with him. He invites us to return from our acts of rebellion. Lord, remove the spirit of rebellion from us and help us to always put you at the center of our affairs. We want to be always in your dwelling place. Help us to achieve this, Lord. Amen. And I invite you to share your thoughts and your comments on this verse. And you can also share a verse for the day. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put on the notification bell so that you can get a verse each day. And then let's continue to reflect on the verse of the Bible. God bless you.